I only buy the finest TV system. See UPF. BOPF is indicated on the pack. Sista, the art of tea. It has been 12 days since the people of Rathapaswala began their struggle to obtain clean drinking water. News first toward the Rathapaswala area today as well. On the 27th of last month, the residents of Rathapaswala launched a protest demanding clean water. The protests were eventually quelled on the 1st of this month when the military intervened. Officials pledged to provide a solution to the water crisis. The News First team was on location first and met with Venerable Tiripuri Sridhar Mathera who launched a fast calling for a solution to the water crisis. I clearly know that there is a threat to my safety. I only have the security provided by the general public who face this injustice. I am a person who is dedicated to the people, so I have received their security. I do not fear anyone. No one or no force will be able to suppress me or the general public. Meanwhile, steps have been taken to provide clean drinking water until a permanent solution is provided for the water crisis in the area. Every day we tie a piece of cloth here. This is the amount of dirt that is collected each day. They say it's from the water board. We realize that this is not suitable for drinking. We do not know where this water is coming from. We don't take much water from the tank because it is unclean. It is hard for us to believe this water is clean because the cloth used as a filter becomes yellow each day. We took water from here one day. We couldn't drink it. We use water from our well for cooking purposes. Water from our wells are cleaner than this water. This is a well located in the Galalu area. Although water tanks have been set up as a temporary solution with water being supplied from Bowser's, when we toured the area today, we saw that many people still use water from wells. The pH level of the water here is close to 5, so we come here to bathe and wash our clothes. We cannot drink water from the well in our house. We begin to feel discomfort in our stomach and chest when we do so. Since the water is constantly flowing here, it is a bit better. Meanwhile, our cameras also captured the man in which workers of the National Water Board were laying pipes to provide the tap water. Meanwhile, the Geological Survey and Mines Bureau notes the soil samples collected from the area surrounding the factory in Rathapasvala, which was at the centre of controversy, has been sent for tests. Director General of the Bureau, Anil Piris, noted that soil samples have been collected from areas which are less than three kilometres from the location of the factory. He added that once laboratory tests are completed, they would be able to identify whether any chemicals have mixed with the soil. Anil Pires went on to note that these investigations would provide a clear picture as to whether allegations that the factory is directly linked to the water pollution is true or false. The Geological Survey and Mines Bureau notes that investigations would be completed within three weeks.